Greetings, folks, and welcome to Command Chains of War. I'm Everreg, and this is the Salvo scenario. The United States military and its allies were at a great strategic disadvantage at the start of hostilities with China. When the Cold War ended and the strategic focus shifted to the Arabian Gulf and later the War on Terror, many U.S. Pacific bases were closed and forces concentrated to a relatively small number of key installations in South Korea, mainland Japan, Okinawa, and Korea. This alignment suited the 1990s and early 2000s fine as there were no peer competitors in the region, and barring a bit of economic trouble, the region was relatively stable. This all changed by the turn of the decade with the rise of China as a true peer competitor that had the ability to precisely target fixed U.S. installations with large salvos of precision weapons. The failure of the U.S. military to recognize this fact and disperse its forces as it had done under the threat of nuclear attack during the Cold War would lead to devastating losses in the first few hours of war and would dictate the course of U.S. strategy throughout it. The Chinese leadership was very happy over what had transpired in the last few days. The Vietnamese Air Force and Navy were effectively destroyed, leaving its army to mobilize relatively undefended. Most of its generals and politicians had fought as young men in the war against America and had witnessed the death and destruction caused by a sustained bombing campaign and did not wish to repeat it. So while the UN condemned the attack, Vietnamese diplomats were already seeking a peace for right to end. A great misunderstanding of intentions. They hoped it would at least give the Vietnamese army time to mobilize and dig in and at best end the conflict altogether. One key Chinese enemy was now removed from the board and they could now deal with the rest. Large numbers of precision cruise and ballistic missiles were keys to China's success in this conflict. They could salvo them in large numbers, and even in light of recent anti-ballistic missile technology advances, they would stand a good chance of success if employed and supported properly. In this case, Chinese cyber forces played a critical support role attacking U.S., Japanese, and Korean systems. Chinese space forces also assisted by engaging U.S. satellites. The cumulative effect was not just many destroyed targets, but a shock and awe effect that the American forces had not felt ever since the Second World War. Let's do this. Our primary task is to inflict as much damage as possible on numerous key air installations in the U.S. and the air region, while defending against the expected counterattack. Airbase facilities of the highest priority are runways, tarmacs, hardened shelters, shelters, hangars, revetments, and open parking spaces. Our targets are Anderson Air Force Base, Kadena, Anderson Air Force Base in Guam, Kadena Air Force Base in Okinawa, Kunsan Air Force Base in South Korea, Mkasu Tenma in Okinawa, Mkasu Akuni in Japan, Misawa Air Force Base in Japan, Neha Air Force Base in Japan, Osan Air Force Base in South Korea, the USS Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group, and Yokota Air Force Base in Japan. My secondary task is to destroy as many American military satellites as possible. I have six hours to accomplish this task. All U.S. forces are on a higher alert as a result of the air attack on Vietnam. The Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group has put to sea and air defense radars and sites are active, expect an immediate surge once the attack commences to include significant early warning combat air patrols. The primary threat to my missile forces are the various surface-to-air missile systems that have anti-ballistic missile capabilities. The known threats are two BMD-capable destroyers in the Sea of Japan, a five battery defending Guam, and numerous Patriot missile sites guarding Japan and South Korea. You should expect attrition, so you should rely on large salvos and possibly leveraging assistance from our cyber force. The U.S. and its allies have some capability to counterattack. This could come in the form of air, sea, or subsurface attack. The most likely immediate counterattack would be a cruise missile attack on fixed targets. Please orient defensive forces to meet and neutralize these attacks. Assets? I uh, don't really care, but I do have the cyber forces, which have a number of options available which you can find under special actions. Let's do this. So, the thing about this scenario is that it's actually a rather quick one if you're running it on blue gene. So, uh... I'm gonna have 
to uh, be careful with the time compression and turn things off and start and stop things for some time. So let's set up a mission. Let's up one here, Sky I North. It's a support mission. Turn off the one fool rule. Don't allow tankers and uh, get a KJ 500 cub from Beijing and turn the radars on. This isn't a very long mission. I don't have to worry about replacement for my uh, AWACS. Uh, hang on a second. Let's define an area about here. A new mission. Call it. Sky Eye Center. It's a support mission and add a KJ2000 to it. Turn off the one third rule, don't allow tankers, and uh, turn on the radars. Finally, let's set up a support mission round about here. A new mission Sky Eye south and uh, add a KJ2000 to it. Turn off the one third rule, don't allow tankers, and uh, turn the radar to active. Another thing, we need to set up a few reference points here, 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 here. Select all the reference points. Add a new mission. Call it Fighter Protect. It's an enemy aircraft warfare patrol. And don't investigate unknown contacts. Officer patrol your equipment weapon branch. You only have one flight. Engage hostile contacts. So let's look around and see what we have. Add these guys to Fighter Protect. That's an AWACS base in Jing. And these guys, the fighter protect. Let's look at these guys. And these guys, the fighter protect. Chen Zing. And these guys, the fighter protect. Jiang Chao. That's a bomber base, no. And Ching, that's a heavy bomber base, Kujo. These guys to fire protect. And Uye Shan. And these guys to fire protect. Uh, let's not worry about this guy, Arm just Reserve. So. Actually, there is a little bit of a bug with this scenario in that. Uh, the missile launchers aren't at their stations. So uh, let's tell them to come to a stop so they don't move. Um, this guy's out of station. This guy, this guy out of station. This guy's out of station. Yeah, these guys are all at their stations. So, let's actually go to this DF-21 Delta and tell it to move. Here, 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 here. here. Here, here, then here. I don't want the repathing logic to kick in, and I want this DF-21 Delta to get closer so I can actually fire on the Reagan. It's out of range at the moment. So, let's unpause time and see what happens. Okay, let's see what satellites we've got. This one. This one. Let's look at this one. Ooh. 
Okay. So it's actually uh, going to oh, overfly this SC-19. So let's tell the SC-19 to fire one at each of these satellites. The uh, thing with anti-satellite warfare is that you have to fire up the satellites before they get into range. You can't fire at them after because then they'll be out of the DLC. Let's get this SC-19 to fire at these two guys, one missile each. Yeah, it's gonna go right over this SC-19. So, let's move on forward. Okay, so my uh, fighters and support craft are taking off. Okay, so we're spotting a few enemy ships, but we have not beat them yet. And, uh, call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure this is the right group. Okay, so we spotted an American maritime patrol aircraft as we go. Fire Protect mission and Sky on North mission, so uh, you don't engage that guy too early. Okay, so this SC-19 is firing on these satellites. Let's slow down time a bit. Okay, we positively ID'd the Reagan group. Okay, we've taken out both satellites. So, let's launch our attack. Let's first go to this DF-26C. Now, it says Guam Killer, but we're not going to use it to attack Guam. Guam has a thought that way position, and uh, we're not going to get any points by attacking it. Now, we could attack it with cruise missiles, but that's going to take too much time. We're, we're going to have already won by the time the missiles have impacted. So, uh, yeah, let's use these DF-26 Charlies to attack runways. Four per runway at Kadena and Neha. And uh, let's use this DF-26 Charlie to attack the runway at Futena. And let's use the rest to uh, attack the hard aircraft shelters at Neha. Okay. Next. Next. It's next move. Let's go to all of these missile launchers and attack Adana. And go to the hard and aircraft shelters and allocate two missiles to each hard and aircraft shelter. Wait. Oops. Uh... Okay. And uh, allocate these DF-16 penetrators to these 
aircraft shutters. And allocate these DF-15 Bravos, these hard aircraft shutters. And uh, finally, the ones with some munitions, we're not going to use those to attack the hard aircraft shelters. Instead, we're going to use those to attack radars. Okay, let's move on forward. And the missiles are flying in. Let's take a look at each of the launchers. And they are indeed all launching. Okay, it's slowing down now. That's how we can tell uh, the Americans are launching anti-ballistic missiles. They're launching SF-3s. Okay. Okay. Look at the events. Okay, we damaged the runways. The US Army is counterattacking. Yeah. Okay. But there's a bit of a problem with this scenario in that the US won't counterattack until they declare us hostile, and it's very easy to get through this entire scenario without them ever declaring us hostile. And here comes the slowdowns. Yeah, this is uh, gonna take a while. Uh, oh. We're firing on these satellites. These Patriots are firing on our SAMs. If we take out this radar, Patriots are firing on our ballistic missiles. Okay, we're taking out a bunch of Neha hard aircraft shelters. Let's look at the events. Yeah, we get a hundred points for destroying a hard aircraft shelter, which is as many points as you get for destroying for cradling a runway. So those things are actually kind of hard targets.
Okay, so that attack is now over. Let's just uh, wait for a bit until these SC-19s hit, the, hit these or miss the satellites. Okay, so uh, I actually think that's a good place to end it. This is Everang, and I'll see you next time.